Okay guys, I'm gonna do my best to make a little tutorial here for this Photoscape program that I found. Um, bear with me because I'm using my iPad and it's not... It's hard to kind of view my whole computer screen and still have a hand to be able to do this. So anyway, here's the Photoscape window. This is just where it opens up to. So what I do is I hit Batch. Now you can see I already did a batch here, but I'm going to do a new batch because I have another order that I want to do. Now I had to squish my window way down to fit it on this video screen, so you can barely see this, but um, you have to go up here and select where your files are. Ah, oh, this is going to be a pain. Okay, here's my drive that it's on. It's in coming soon. I'm not going to be able to see the name of it. Is it this one? Yes, okay, it's my life of the party stuff. So you can see, once I click the folder, it shows all the files that are in that folder. Here they are, so I'm gonna select all. I guess I'll do it with my mouse. Usually I use my... Oh, can I not do it with my mouse? Of course not. All right, so I'm gonna hit Control A. Okay. Now, before I bring them up here, I need to get rid of these ones. This is a trick I had to learn, okay? So you want to see that they're all highlighted with the blue around the square. And when the X is blue, it deletes them all. It took me a little bit to figure that out. Okay, so now these are all highlighted. I drag them up here. Now you can see I already set up a background here, but I'm going to go through and show it to you anyway. So it's in Frames and Shapes. So you click Frames and Shapes. I selected the square. Now you can see I chose this color blue and that's going to make this part of the frame. So if I change it, let's say we make it this color. I don't know, maybe this color. Okay, so you can see that changed that part. Now you can also... The blur is what makes that background bigger or smaller. See the background? I chose polka dots. It's cute. You can change how big you want it to be. So I do about that. And here is where I selected the pattern, which is super cute. So you can choose a whole bunch of different ones here. Maybe that. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so you can play around with that. This also will make it just a solid color if you want, instead of a pattern. I kind of like doing the patterns. Uh, maybe this one. Okay. Now, what else is in here I wanted to show you? Oh, the um, offset. This puts your picture off to the side. I don't like that, so I put it all the way to the zero so it's in the middle. And that's pretty much all I do. You can play around with which ones you want. You can have rounded corners, you know, all that, whatever. Um, play around with it. There's different things. And then you just hit Apply. So now it's going to show you the one the first one, but if you click on them, it's it's going to show you that it did that to all of them. I'll just go down here so you can see. Okay, so it does it to every picture that's up here. Now what you have to do is you click save. Okay, so now here's the save window. So you're going to want to make sure that you have the correct folder selected where you want it to save. See right now it's showing my other folder that I used before. I don't want them to go there. Since they're already in this one, you can see them all here. I'm going to select that and hit open. And now what I've done here for file naming, you've, I'm on the advanced naming tab. You want it to just have the same file name. I'm not adding anything to the name because I want it to replace what's already there. So you can see down here it shows you it goes from this name to this name, which means it's the same and that's what we want because I don't want additional files. I want it to replace the original. Okay, so now I click OK. And now it's saying, oh, it already exists. Yes, I want it to replace it. So I'm going to click Overwrite All. And now it is saving all of these photos with their new backgrounds. Just like that. Super, super easy and fun. And there's lots more you can do with this. I know you can make collages. There's all kinds of other things you can do with this program. 
So far, the only thing I'm using it for is this, so I haven't really had a lot of time to play around with the other stuff yet, but this in itself is a lifesaver for me. I can take hundreds of pictures and in one fell swoop, I've got them saved. So if I go over to my file window here, you can see this is where it was, and now they are all in there with the new backgrounds on them. Woohoo! Super easy! So I think that was the biggest question people had about how to use this was um, where to select the backgrounds, how to change them, and then how to save it with the correct file name. I know that some people were having issues. Obviously I use a Mac, um, so this is on my Macintosh computer desktop computer. Um, so if you have questions about Windows, using it on a Windows machine, I don't know if it's going to be exactly the same or different, so you might have to just kind of Google it and look stuff up. Um, but this is the name of the program, Photoscape X. I do have the free version. I did not pay for this. This is free. Um, and it never told me I had to pay anything. So, anyway, I hope that helps. I didn't want to make this too long. Um, if there's any other things you're not sure how to figure out, let me know. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff you can play around with. There's stickers, you can add text, all kinds of things. Um, so, and effects. I haven't even played with any of that stuff yet. I'm just doing the basic quick save with the new background. Um, so, I hope that helped. Alright, bye everybody!